Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to call a Python script using LabVIEW. The first step you need to do is to make sure that you have Python installed on your local machine. Uh, I'm using a Windows 10 machine. To check your Python version, you can simply open a command prompt and type python dash dash version. As you can see, I have Python 3.9 installed. Next, let's code up a Python script. And uh, let's return F, which stands for Fahrenheit. So here you can go to language under P, you can choose Python. So it color codes based on the Python syntax. And let's save this. Under Learn Lab U, and I will call this C2. F. Now let's create a new LabVIEW file. Right click here, search Python. you'll see three um, blocks showing up in this pane. This one starts a Python session, this one closes a Python session, and this one calls the Python code. So here you need to specify the which version of Python are you using. This is actually uh, uh, critical. The uh, the pass input here it's an optional pass uh, you can by default it will just load a pass of the version that you choose let's wire the session in here let's create a control here So in the control pass box, we are going to specify where our Python script is loaded from. This string should be the name of the function that you want to call in that Python script because in a single script there could be multiple functions. For example, I have a second function here, diff f2c, which does the opposite, that converts a temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. This input at the gray terminal is important. This one specifies the return data type. Now we know the return type is a double because it could be a fractional number. So let's just wire a constant in. And here, this is where we're gonna get the return value. Let's call it F, which stands for temperature in Fahrenheit.
and this terminal connects to the input, which is the temperature in Celsius. Once we are done with the operation, we can connect to the close Python session block to close the, the session. And uh, let's give it an indicator here. Let's save this. Now let's run this. Let's say my Celsius is a zero degree Celsius. I want to see what is my Fahrenheit. It's 32, which is correct. And uh, let's say if I'm 10 degree in Celsius, it should be 37 in Fahrenheit. Actually, it should be 50 degrees in Fahrenheit. That is also correct. And if I, uh, let's say if uh, here it's 15 degrees Celsius, then it should be, um, actually, I don't know how much it, it's going to be. Let's take a look, 59. So let's compare that with a online calculator. Fifteen degree here gives us fifty nine. Here, in fact, we can make a loop so we can continuously uh, enter new Celsius values and make it spit out its Fahrenheit converted value. So let's put a while loop around this. Put a delay of 50 milliseconds that should be good enough and uh, let's add a stop button this, this is our output and this is our stop button so let's run this as you can see we can continuously update the c value and uh, the program will calculate the F value accordingly. If you take a look at this uh, structure, um, because once the, uh, we are using this shift register to pass around the reference of the uh, Python session, uh, there is no need to repeatedly open and uh, close the uh, Python connection. So this is a good way to uh, keep the, the script running while uh, not having, not needing to re-establish the connection here, which is an efficient way of running this Python code. Thank you for watching.